Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. It's colder in hell outside. It's like negative five. 66. No, it's 69 degrees in here. All right, guys. So what are we doing today? What are we doing today? We're revisiting our B5 S4 Chronicle vlog life story German shit box. Would you like to catch them up of that, what's going on here? That feels funny. Um, I know it flexes, doesn't it? It's weird. Anyway, exhaust is too low, so we're finally gonna address that after what, two years? Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> we're gonna do that, we're gonna fix these rattling lines up here that I managed to uh, I I know, what, aggressively beat a bracket out. Would that be the way to? I mean, I guess you could probably call it that. The bracket that's supposed to be holding things apart is no longer there. Yeah, so it, it we, doesn't exist We no need more. to address it. If you follow me on Instagram and are in my story, you guys might have seen it. If not, well. Maybe we'll just revisit this part under the car. Um, I would like to get her hooked up to a computer and see if uh, that's telling us anything. Okay, we can do that. Um, there is there is one very major thing. Oh, we got to get the diff out. Yeah. We also gotta put axles in it. We gotta rebuild your axles, brother. He literally has inners, outers split on both fronts. Like, And then you're gonna work in there. Or right. are we gonna do it like together and then separate? How do you wanna do it? It don't matter. Yeah. We're, we're gonna do some construction shit around here. We're gonna cut some holes in some walls and figure out what's going on. So I'm gonna get this stuff pulled away. If you wanna know what happened here, you have to check out the other video that I did on like Christmas, post Christmas, pre New Year. You should buy dad for his birthday, Christmas, holiday, Hanukkah, gift ideas. We could title it probably 500 different ways. Video, so that's all in that. We got cups, we got Creality, we got $100 cutoff grinding wheels. Today's gonna be fun, let's do something. <laughs> Pretty much. All right, take a last good look at it. This is what it's gonna look like. Are you ready for a project for me? Thank you, you're awesome. Yeah, <laughs> for a project for me? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah I'm always ready for I'm your project. You with all the so effectively, we're gonna move this whole wall and go this way with it using the frugality methods of spend as little money as possible. Yeah, what's my budget? Uh, your budget is $10. <laughs> no, not decent. <laughs> Uh, you know, knowing what we know now, knowing that like this wall's hollow, everything, realistically, I think I'm gonna give you, you got a hundred dollars. Oh. You got a hundred dollars to spend inventory. I, we have everything, we have, we have drywall mud, we have screws, we have There's tape. some sort of like DIY in you if you're a car guy. It's like you just have shit. I would agree. You have to be. You want to build a sub box for your car? You got to have woodworking tools. Your kid punches a hole in the roll, you're not calling a drywaller. Yeah. You need to fix it yourself. <laughs> oh, you need to chip up your tile floor? No worries. You got an air hammer because you're a car guy. He's got his project. Try not to screw up my walls. What do you mean? That's my job is to fuck up. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go work on his shit box. You want to just, yeah. All right. So while he's doing that, I'm going to start working on his exhaust because before I take this diff and everything else out, I want to make sure that the exhaust is like fixed. What was it like? I think something like three years ago we built this. Yeah. I mean, it taken quite a bit of abuse, actually. This is all from hitting the trailer. This is worn out from hitting on stuff, the road mostly. But I built this exhaust laying on the ground on my back. It worked. It's functioned. It's been great, but it's time to get a little upgrade. Can you do like a circle right here? I mean, if you really wanted me to put a circle there, I could put a circle there for you. Like a no, donut? Cause, no, because I know how much that donut costs. <laughs> be, imagine what that would do to the Tony or exhaust. Uh, yeah, I have some ideas. He's got his marching orders. I've got mine. Uh, oh, yeah, that's what we got to fix, this rattle. Where's that bracket at? It goes right there and it wraps around here. Bolts there? That's No, that's a stud, sorry. Yeah, that is a stud. That's a stud. So that goes around there and then that comes in there and then... So that's my problem. Yeah, that's rattling. You may start off where you see here. That's my oil leak. Yeah, that is the only oil leak actually. Like your pan is fine, everything else is, is probably not tight enough. Or it's too tight or it's old and needs to be replaced. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did the last oil change on this in your driveway. My drive? Yeah, it was right after I fucking goobered that shit box right before Race Wars in uh, 20. I'm pretty sure. Oh, the guy that went to a poo on us? Yeah. Yeah, there was a, yeah, that's I a whole. I think I changed my oil. 
If you want to see that, there's a whole like playlist of this shit box doing things. It's had a rough life. What was that? My timing belt roller? Time. It was the timing belt idle. Timing belt idler. Yeah, that bolt took a shit at like 6,500 RPM. <laughs> I don't know how I didn't grenade that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I think what happened in that case, the God tenture. was like, you've had enough struggles. With this car. <laughs> Just grab my timing belt and be like, like, not today. Oof. I need to mark some lines and we're going to use our new cutoff wheel. I got this thing from Miltner Hall. Is that it? in there it's in there that is scary this is as bad as the chainsaw wrapped one have you seen those yeah uh, if you haven't yeah like no they've got these ones at harbor freight that have a chainsaw blade wrapped around them it's used for wood carving great safe idea i love it i really should buy one but i'm too scared that once i own it i'll use it all right, kids, for this one, we're actually, we are gonna go safety first. Jordan's got his safety goggles, I've got mine. You wanna leave it there? I'm Plenty of light. So what we have here, kids, is a cereal box that looks like a belt so that we can just make a straight line. It's kind of a gnarly cut. Like, do you see how wicked big it is? I got it out of my system. I'm done. That's not the right tool for this job. Like that's gonna be a nasty cut. <laughs> Let's go cut your wall. Oh. All right, well, since he's in there making messes and officially to the point where we need some, he needs my help, this stuff's all rusted. We're gonna get some good old fashioned WD-40 if we can get the can to work and give it some love. Those ones are probably fine to be honest, but you know. Ones you know that actually oh, yeah. diffing. Diff's gotta come out. Those gotta come out. We're just spraying it all, screw it. That's gotta come out. Those gotta come out. Well, they don't have to come out, but we're gonna take it out because we got new ones. You're getting WD-40 on your head. That's uh, better than diesel. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I paid a lot of money for that. I know you did. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you wanna use a new tool? Fat bastard, sure. Yeah, we need it. Oh. We need a shape for that. Here we go. All right, let's give it a go. That's big. I don't know how well it's... <laughs> yeah, that one might have to be like chunked a little bit. Oh. Uh, that one's a little... Too... Oh, don't cut my finger. Oh, that's... Yeah. All right. Maybe it doesn't work on like stainless steel that's rough cut. Use an actual proper sander. Oh, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Let's try that 40 grit. Hold on. Nope, 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 nope. I felt it barely grip it and bite, and I'm like, we out. All right, let's get back to moving a wall. <laughs> It's the wall's moving without a doubt it's moving and it's I mean yeah, this is pretty clean dude like that's a really clean cut you did a really good job yeah, with that. There, but okay. ah, you know what so far so good all right let's get the rest of it done so they have these things called ram sets they're uh where's the one oh this is the one that we got full out fully intact every other one has been broken or kind of pulled but basically they ran these things in with a uh, dud 20, uh, a 22 long rifle. Like, yeah, yeah, for a gun. Uh, just got no bullet on it. Gunpowder and some oomph. Uh, and, so I've never seen one work, but like I know. Oh, dude, they're cool. Like it, it's, it literally sounds like you're it's shooting 22 a 22 long, long rifle. Yeah, we gotta go put it back in. So we'll have to get mine. The goal here now is now that we've got the wall completely moved, like we can move the wall right the question is, is can we move this in such a way that we can just like oh right into here i don't know we're gonna find out though get some more stuff move. we're gonna get a couple more things move. what do you think i just hope it don't fall <laughs> all right well, we figured out our problem one giant fucking. 
put a screw in it. What? Why? Is that? And we're binding the drop ceiling up right now is what's happening. That's my bigger fear is like, if we kept pushing it and pushing it, we'd probably drop the ceiling on us. Yeah, no, so we're not so, gonna do that. We're gonna see if we can count them. Here, go for it. good this is so good look how much bigger it already is we should just leave it right here and let Juan be like what is going on well we got a hole yo that's gonna be so much bigger there's a whole nother car two cars in here this is a good idea this is a great idea I'm loving this it's like McDonald's right about now we're gonna put you on pause change the angle of dangle reevaluate our situation and uh, maybe do a thing or two so a good idea great idea yeah. BRB course of action uh explain it yeah yeah yeah, yeah. all right so i oh, just so it's already rolling. yeah it's already rolling rolling so we're gonna do this two ways so we obviously we moved a wall it, it's moved it's official level on the outside and then just do one of these like bam screw some studs together and just walk the wall up straight and then straighten that end more or less we can also go off that wall too yeah that's a lot of measuring you guys got the idea. We're straighten this out a little bit. Because I, you put that level on that wall and you could already see that it was... Oh, the wall's crooked is... Oh, yeah. But the top has to go in. So, like, the sledgehammer needs to strategically hit a point up there. While this screw is in there so that the wall goes... All right. I'm going to so, set you guys down and swing a sledgehammer. The easiest way is to mount that side. Straighten that square that side to that one. Oh! You're going way too far. I'm just, I'm almost like basing it off of like how much of those tiles is sticking out. Oh yeah, I see what you're getting at. That makes sense. If you're if you're using this line in the floor here as a straight line, yeah, so ideal. As long as the whole room is square. Honestly, you might want to be a piece of shit and uh, screw down into a museum. <laughs> Two hours later. We had to do a little parts run. We need materials. Let's see if this thing's straight though. All right, that says it's straight. No, it's getting worse. Like it's, the wall is starting. Huh? This door jam is gonna be an important part if you wanna use the door. It needs a little, little bit of help. Where's the helper stick? Hold on. We're gonna do this. We're gonna go through your leg, Jordan. This is safe, right? That's perfect. <laughs> that wall is set. It ain't coming out, let's put it that way. <laughs> Does that mean you can be off a sixteenth of an inch and be good? Yeah. I like it. I, I well, like it. I don't work in thirty seconds, is what that means. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, in case you didn't know, what we're playing with is what's called a ram set. So basically, it's got these little like twenty-two round. There's no bullet in them. They got some gunpowder. We get some nails. You shove a nail in the end of this thing. You put your uh, little. Rifle round, bullet, whatever you want to call it. Rim fire, I think, is what the. Is that what this is? A rim fire? You're the gun guy. 
That was a rimfire coach. That's a rimfire, right? I mean, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. That's what I know. I mean, I'm pretty sure all 22s are rimfire. Oh. No, there are some center fire 22s. I take that back. I'm not as big of a gun guy as he makes me out to be. Oh, he's more of a gun guy than I am. He owns them. Anyway, uh, so yeah, you got to put this thing in there and then you can drive a nail in home just like we did there. So we got a few more to do. What are we going to do, like three or four? Or just like... What's the likelihood of you moving this wall? Slim to none. Now that we put that one in there. I would, I would do one right here just so you can keep your door in a nice place. I'd do one at that end. i just do one in the middle. Okay. You heard the man. Let's get to it. <laughs> All right, we have our own private quarters now. Look at this. Oh. Hi, look. There is a clear division amongst our spaces now, except for this giant gaping hole that we have over here. How crooked is it? No. Five. He looks like, is the bottom narrower than the top? That's weird. Oh, right. I'll come in. All right, well, I'm gonna use our doorway that we just finished up here. Oh, all right. Well, we got about this much work done. No, we got like- The exhaust is cut off and everything's sprayed with WD-40. Yeah, that's about it. But we did get some stuff done in here. Like, a lot of stuff. Oh. Just look at it. Probably should have shown you this from the other side because then lights would have been on. Look at that. We got a wall. We have a wall. I know this sounds so trivial, but I'm actually very excited about this wall because this wall defines an area for customers to hang out in like a showroom now and a designated like whole nother shop space it's gonna be for us. We'll have all of our, I think I said earlier, like all of our machines, all that stuff will be in here. This is Juan and I's office. A lot of like top secret stuff will go down in there. I don't know how much you guys will see because I use flow charts. I, I, I have to have a visual reference. I don't want to tell you guys all my secrets. We got one more section of wall to take out. We got to take this one out. We got to take that one out. And then we're going to put a giant garage door hole in that one. But Juan and I are going to tackle that. This guy, you are going to help me take this one and this one down, right? Do you want that before we put a hole through it and put a car through it? Or how do you want to do it? Why don't you take the wall out by putting a car through it? That sounds dangerous. Like, you want them views on YouTube or not? I do not want to drive a car through the wall is what's happening here. Like, that's the reality of it. So you want me- want action. You want me to drive a car physically like right through there to make a garage door. Not only do I, but the people also. <laughs> if somebody gets in the comments and I, like if, all right, check it out. I'll drive a car through it. No, you won't. But we need like, 20,000 likes. <laughs> oh, yeah, there you go. Set the bar, right? Set the, like, up here. I'll drive a car through that wall. 20,000 likes. 20,000 likes. Anyway, I think that's all the time we're going to have for this one. Doing everything I can to post as much content as I can. So, guys, I hope you enjoy it. I know it's been kind of a chaotic mess on the channel this last, like, end of the year. But it's been fun. Anyway, guys, I'm tired. He's tired. He's going home. Cars are running. I'm outie. Jordan. Howdy. Bye. <laughs>